Good morning, readers and writers. Mrs. Koenig here, ready to start the year of our wonderful word study. Oh, I've been waiting for this day. I know you have too anxiously. We're going to embark on a year-long journey, and we're going to do nothing for this portion of the, your day but look at words word meanings, how to use them, and to stuff as many in your pocket as I can get in there before the end of the year. Okay? Please don't bolt from the room. Just know that in time you are really going to like this part of the day and you're going to see how much it helps you in all content areas and even all throughout your life. Okay? So, without, don't, like I said, don't bolt because we're going to start off slow. I'm going to ease you in with a little music. You know me, I love my music. We're going to start you off kind of slow. I'm going to tell you what it's all about. I'm going to walk you through it and we're going to do the first one today. Okay? So here we go. Wonderful word study. Oh, am I going to get you strong? And we're going to educate you to the wonderful, the wonderful fun. I don't want to be in the dark. The wonderful fun ways you can have with words to make you smarter. So like I told you back on the first week of school, words are power. Okay. And, and I think as we go through the year, you are going to start to understand that more and more that the word, the more words, you know, the more powerful you become, just like we talked about in every context of your life, daily life, school, it doesn't matter on the job. The more words, you know, the bet, the smarter, the stronger you're going to become. Okay. Because words are power, like I told you. Now to pump you up, I have a cool video that I found a couple years ago. Um, I think it's going to just kind of empower you. And it's a little musical, so I want you to enjoy it. I'm just going to show it on here, but I'm going to send you this video. Of course, you're watching it now, and you can go back and visit this as many times as you want. I still feel like I'm in the dark. Um, it's going to, you're going to be able to visit this as many times as you want, but I'll play it here now so we can see it together. Yo, words of power and that's the truth. Prefixes, suffixes, and they all got roots. Yes, words of power, they run this town. So let's run the track back and bring them on down. Yes, words of power and that's the truth. Prefixes, suffixes, and they all got roots. Yo, words of power, they run this town. So let's run the track back and bring them all down. Let me break this down. We start with root words, the truest. Not a full word, just a linguistic unit. You get a lot of room here to improvise, visualize words of small size as I say. Aqua means water, Andy means love, bio means life, chemo means blood, geo means earth, and vital means life. Let's hit the next topic so y'all can get it right. Yo, words of power and that's the truth. Prefixes, suffixes, and they all got roots. Yes, words of power, they run this town. So let's run the track back and bring them on down. Yes, words of power and that's the truth. Prefixes, suffixes, and they all got roots. Yo, words of power, they run this town. So let's run the track back and bring them on down. What's next is the prefix step, the initial portion of a term or object. Look at the word itself, it's a two-part patch. Pre means before, and fix is to attach. Anti means against, inter means between, poly means many, while homo means the same, pseudo means false, trans means across. Prefix is start words, you should never take a loss. Yo, words of power, and that's the truth. Prefixes, suffixes, and they all got roots. Yes, words of power, they run this town, so let's run the track back and bring them on down. Yes. Words of power and that's the truth. Prefixes, suffixes, and they all got roots. Yo, words of power, they run this town. So let's run the track back and bring them on down. If prefixes come before, then what's the next chapter? Suffixes follow root words, so they must come after. And while this may sound absurd, a suffix can also change the grammar function of a word. Went from adjectives to adverbs, like clear and clearly. But then child into childish. It's semantics, can you hear me? Ology means study of, ism is belief in, side means killing, or an army demonstration. Phobia means fear of, kinesis means movement, and that's what it is, now you're getting some improvement. Yo, words of power and that's the truth, prefixes, suffixes, and they all got roots. Yes, words of power, they run this town, so let's run the track back and bring them on down. Yes, words of power and that's the truth, prefixes, suffixes, and they all got roots. Yo, words of power, they run this town, so let's run the track back and bring them on down.
Okay, wasn't that the most fun video ever? What a way to kick off word study. It's like I told you guys, I love that video. Um, it's a great kickoff. Not only is it jazzy, and I know some of you guys are probably bopping along, but the thing is the important message from there is words are power, and it's so true. And a lot of those words you probably saw up there, you were thinking, I've never heard of half of those. Some I have, some I haven't. By the time I'm done with you, we are going to learn all of those, and you're going to know probably about 60 more than that. So, like I said, it's going to be very, very powerful. So, what I have to do first is I want to show you what happens each week or when, what each new unit. You're going to be getting a yellow sheet this morning after you see this video. Maybe you probably have it in your hands already. This is our wonderful word study sheet. It has a front and a back. And I just want to walk you through it so you see what it looks like. You'll notice on the very top, it has focus. That's because we have five focuses per sheet, five word parts we study per sheet. And then we get a new sheet, and after four sheets, then that's when we play our review games, and we study, and we practice, and we have an assessment on those. So anyways, each, each time we do word study, we'll have for, for sure three a week. Um, we put our words part here, the meaning here, and um, some examples of the words, a little picture that will help you, and using the word in context. That's really all we fill in every single day, okay? Um, I'm going to do that with you with the first slide. Then after, you know, at the end of the, the, the sheet, after about five, five word study parts, you'll notice on the very back there's a place for you to choose nine of your, your favorite words from any of the examples that you came up with or we came up with, any of the, the examples. And if you want to just practice spelling them five times each, there's really, you know, it, that's all you have to do. And it's just another way to get some new words in your word bag um, you might not totally remember them or spell them right, but it's good practice to look at them, sound them out, and write them out for practice. So that is also an expectation. By the time we're done with each of the sheets and we're ready for our, our review, this all has to be completed. But we'll talk about that in a few minutes, okay? All right, so this is what your, your slide will look like every day that I send you or that I connect you to a link, okay? Um, here's how we do it. You take your yellow sheet. And I have everything on this slide laid out for you, all right? But I like to talk about it, too, so that's why I'm going to have these flipped for you. So the first word study we're going to work on that I want you to focus on is auto. Auto. So you write auto under the focus, the first line right here where it says focus. Our focus for today is auto. A-U-T-O. Okay? Whoa, <laughs> that was cool. Then next to it, it says meaning. The meaning of auto is self, self. There's a couple other, you know, like other ways to say it, but really I always try to choose the most important word that you can connect auto to that kind of sums up the whole, you know, the whole existence of auto. So auto means self, okay? Um, we'll talk about down here, like what these words mean with regard to self. That's part of the lesson. Word part. You'll notice on your sheet it says word part and it says circle one. Well, it's either going to be a prefix, a suffix, or a root. Now, if you remember the Words Are Power video, it does talk about prefixes. Prefixes are word parts that go ahead of a word. They attach themselves to an existing word, and basically it's at the front of the word, and it changes the meaning by where it's placed in the front. A suffix, on the other hand, is a small word part that's placed at the end of a word, and that changes the meaning in a different way, but it's added to the end of an existing word. And a root, of course, a root word, another option for you, that is a word that is a core word that if you took off prefixes or suffixes, the root would still mean something. Okay, so let's take a look at these um, examples. We have autobiography, automatic, autopilot. We'll talk about what they mean in a minute, but look at those words. Now, you should have a hint. If auto is a prefix, a suffix, or a root, you need to ask yourself, is it, are all of the autos at the beginning of these words, at the end of these words, or in the middle? Now, if you were seeing me here, right here, I would call on you because I bet you have your hand raised. And I, and I would say, go ahead. And you would say, at the beginning, so it's a prefix. And I would say, yes, you are right. Totally right. Yes, auto is a prefix. Okay? And I wrote it here for you so you could see what, what you should be circling. So on your paper, you should have circled prefix. Okay? Now, I don't always have these in the slide. As we get better with this, you are going to look these up on your fabulous iPads. You are going to look up these word parts, and you are going to dig and find out 
if they're a prefix, suffix, or root. Also, the origin of the word part. I did it for you, but this word part, auto, is from the Greek language. Okay, it is a Greek prefix. These two things you're going to be digging around with once you, we get going with um, word study. You're going to find those out. I'm not going to give you everything. Okay, here's some examples. Now, for the example portion where you write down over here the three or four examples I give you, if I give you more than that, it's just cool words I wanted you to know. But you can, you can choose any three that you want and put them down here for your own knowledge. Okay? But I give you three examples of the word that contain, words that contain the word part, and your only job is to write them down. And as I talk about them, listen to what I, how I'm explaining it, and then write down what they mean, because then you connect the, the idea of auto to these words and why they're called, the words are called what they're called. Okay? So the first one you can write down is autobiography. Now spell it correctly, because it's right in front of your eyeballs, right? Okay, so that's an expectation. On your word study sheet, we should always see everything misspelled. Ah, misspelled, my goodness. Everything spelled correctly. Nothing should be misspelled, right? So autobiography. Now, if you know what an autobiography is, you know that an autobiography is a story written about someone's life. That's what a biography is, right? But an autobiography is a story about someone's life written by who? Say it. Yes themselves. In other words, if I write an autobiography, I'm writing my life story, but I'm writing it. Not Joe Schmo or Mary Jane. I'm writing the story myself. It's my life. I'm going to write it. I'm writing about myself. Okay. So when it comes time to hear you write autobiography equals story about, or you could say a self, a self, a story about yourself written by yourself. Okay, however you want to word it. I, I don't mind however you want to word it. And I only give you a little line because I want you to summarize. That's the important thing. Think of it, condense it, synthesize it, and put it down. Okay? And you're welcome to go back and listen to this again if you missed it or you weren't sure of what, you know, what did I say it meant? You can go back and listen. Automatic. Automatic. Something that's automatic means it's something that a process that a machine or of, of some sort does itself. Okay, here's some visual examples. We have an ATM machine here. I bet you didn't know why it's called an ATM. Maybe some of you have now figured it out. What the A stands for is automatic. The T stands for teller because that's what you call someone at the bank who stands behind the counter and like dishes out your money when you come in or you cash a check. The person behind the counter that does that is called the bank teller. So an ATM is an automated teller, or automated teller um, M for your money, I think that is. ATM is automatic teller money, something with money. But anyways, the A stands for automatic. I know that. The A stands absolutely for automatic because you're coming up, you're swiping your card, and you're getting your money how? Yourself, <laughs> okay? Autopilot. Oh, look it. One more thing, too. I, I was blocking this. This is an automatic coffee brewer because all you do is take water, fill it in the receptacle on top, put in a filter with some coffee in this drawer, close it, start it, and it brews the coffee. How? Yes, itself. Right? Okay, that's why it's called an automatic coffee drip. You might have an automatic dishwasher at home. You might have an automatic washer or dryer where you put the clothes in with some soap and all of a sudden it washes it and it comes out and clean and it does it itself. You don't have to be at the river like in olden days with the, when the clothes would be white. You don't have to scrub them on the rocks and beat them to dry. You don't have to do that anymore because you have a machine that does that all by itself. Okay, and then last one here, autopilot. Autopilot is exactly what it says. Sometimes you hear about something going on autopilot. The pilot's flying the plane, and the pilot may have to kind of do some adjusting, maybe go up, get some coffee, whatever, and he puts the plane on autopilot. Wow. He actually gets out of his seat, and you know what? The plane is riding. It's, it's, it's flying itself. It's amazing. Now, I can only do that with a lot of technology and machinery and, and gauges and stuff. But it actually flies on autopilot, meaning that he doesn't have to sit and hold down, you know, anything or press anything or hold the wheel. It actually flies by itself. Okay? So, you have all three of these words now and then what they mean in your own little, you know, condensed way. 
synthesize, remember, make it, you know, listen to what I say and just put it in a couple words so you remember. Then you have this illustration box. Now this is where if you want to draw any of these pictures, you want to just sketch something, if you're a very visual person, maybe just a, a diagram or like like a, co a coffee pot and, and you would remember automatic, oh, it brews itself. Whatever you want to do, that this box is for you to do something in, all right? So you can you know, keep a visual cue. Then down here you have the word in context. This is where I want you to choose any of these words and you create your own well-written capital letter at the beginning, ending mark of some sort at the end, sentence, okay? Also underline the word or circle the word in some way so I can see that it's in there and that you've used it correctly, okay? So that's where you choose any word you want and go ahead and put it in there. You are welcome along the way. If you don't like these, like these, and you like these, and you have these, and you have a fine. If you want to even in the illustration, put a couple in there. Or maybe instead of my examples, you can put your own. I'm fine with that. As long as you have three good examples of this word. Okay, of, of this word part. Okay? So that's it for your sheet. And then that's it for the for the day. So usually word study will take about five minutes. Today it took longer because I had to explain the next one or two might take a few minutes longer because again I'm going to walk you through it. But the whole point is every you know, every five of these and you, you pick words to spell just for fun down here you get a new sheet and you keep a file of these. They're going to have a three hole punch. We're going to keep this in our binders. So by the time we get four of these, we have 20 word parts. We're going to study them, have a study review, have fun, play games for a week or so, and then we take the assessment, the summative assessment, okay? But I know that that's going to be a favorite thing you look forward to because the kids always loved it last year whenever we played our games and stuff. But we have to have words to be able to play the games with, okay? So if you have any questions, you need to come see me, okay? If, not, if something on here wasn't clear, you need to come and talk to me about it and either watch this video again or come and see me and we can watch it together or I can answer any questions that you have, okay? You'll have three of these a week to do and on Friday, I will be checking them. I will be seeing your progress, making sure they're accounted for. And if they are, then that's a check off, you're done for the week. If something's not done, then of course, instead of fun Friday, you have work Friday and you need to get this done, okay? So I will see you in, I'll see you in the classroom.